big business. Yo, it's the deal, y'all. It's your man, Nick Cannon. A, and I'm repping Philly fame real big. The boy Pete Crack. I want to give a big shout out to my boys at Philly fame. I'm Dr. Steve Perry, and I want to give a shout out in this elevator to Philly fame. Shout out to Philly fame. Shout out to Philly fame. This is Philly fame. We them people that it give you game. Main ones say they real, they be really lame. They ain't living out the image that they really claim. Trying to give them something different like they in the gang, Philly fame. Hey everybody, welcome to Philly fame, fashion, art, music, and entertainment. We are your hosts, Mia Mendez. And Kyle at the club, what's popping with y'all? Yes, yes, we're live from Mosaic Lounge and we got a dope show for you lined up. Sure Great do. interviews, but first up, we want a video. Oh yeah, yeah, we got that brand new joint. They don't love you no more. Reed Dollars and Hollow Man, check it out. Same, same, you change like you work that hard to stay the same. Like you're doing all this for a reason. And what happens most of the time, people change. People change around you because they oh, start treating yeah. you different because of your success. Oh, I'm from the heart of North Philly, I hold my city high. Uh, Ferry Bite is a rapper, I come to city drive. Uh, Way too much geographics, I mean I pity guys. Before they tell an ugly truth, they use a pretty lie. Uh, most of the real get this caged in. Caged in. Won't be coming home until they graze it. If everybody's a Muslim, how come you praise me? This men. new rap is a plague, and it's on stage 10. Uh, City of the crack bell, baby, I run. Zigan. Eight ball on a yellow jacket, I stunk. Uh, seen the judge kick away the chair, they hung. Zigan. Thin line between the rich nigga and the bum. Zigan. Uh, between the breadwinner and crumb. Zigan. Bunch of old dumb ziggins and young ziggins. Uh, I'm about to move on these diggin', talking about they running shit. I lace my shoes on these diggin', I drop jewels on these diggin', acting like they getting money when I know you hurt. And I can see the bruise on these niggas. Yeah. My only fear is for the Lord. Lord. Respect and fear, nigga, that's a double edged sword. Hate these diggin', gon' clap. Real diggin', gon' applaud. I'ma give them chills every time I tell them press record. Time for it, I'm the new Cool G. Uh. Go on the road to riches in that new blue V. When my youngins get the word, they gon' shoot through me. F -F. LeBron and Mike, it's 223. Two, uh. You don't want it with me, nigga. Cause these blickers blast against off in the space. I scotty beams against themes again. Three piece suits, we limousines again. Here, shots a ring on your dome, my tambourine again. Lean again. Ars 15, Matic machines again. Freddy with the Desi pop up, scatter your dreams again. Breathe again. 215, just know it's me. Again. Game on my city, a check. How could I leave? If it wasn't for me, where would you be? Take a look in that mirror and at what you see. See the hollow, see the crease, see the reef. See the cheeks, see the O, see the beans. Y'all niggas got it in who? Oh, please. H I L L Y. Know what I mean? 100 round clips and hit your helicopter. 200 rounds in that drum, you'll need hella doctors. Carry hello operas like a Burger King. Hit these Chick fil A's again with that Yao Ming. B H I L A. Out the way, Hagen. Ziggin' talking down on the crown. Watching the niggas you round, catch around. I put a shooter on your ass, he's a hound. He'll lay down in your trash and lay you down. Soon as you pop up, that max stock gon' pop up. Don't let my name pop up, or y'all ziggin' won't pop up. I'm gone. Ever since the nigga hit the top, Ziggin' just don't wanna see me in the box. They don't love you no more. They don't love you no more. They don't love you no more. You know what it is, he's the king, Philly fame, you know what I mean? You already understand what it is, and it ain't about the fame, it's about the change. A lot of you want fame, so we gonna put your ass on Philly fame. Holla at your boy. Hey!
soon as these niggas become officially hood rich, I can ride down on them looking like Batman and take anything they fucking got to it. <laughs> this is what I do. This is what I was born to do. This is Philly fame. We them people that are in your game. Main one say they real, they be really Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Bianca Marie, and you are now tuned into Fly Talk. Today, we have some hilarious content lined up for you, so check it out. Here's your first clip. Come home in Philadelphia. Uh, I always support Nobody everybody. This is the bootleg man. Watch. Like a man, too. Think like a man, too. Have a heart funny as shit. So I got to buy my movies from the bootleg. We're about to get into our next clip. It comes from Luck Hef and Peanut Live 215. You know him with his PZ or whatever. So check out this clip, real etiquette. This etiquette is necessary because if we don't do this, shit, all these faces will think it's sweet to just run around doing this. Shit, doing whatever the y'all want to do. Tell them nothing. Y'all should do whatever the y'all want to do. I'm tired of y'all having babies by because they dress nice. I'm tired of y'all having babies by. Cause they got a nice car, and I'm tired of y'all having baby by Cause he got money for, for for the time being. I mean, these ain't really doing nothing out here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, oh my God, I want to have his kids. Cause he got nice eyes. Oh my God, his hair is good. He got wavy hair. Y'all not ratchet, dirty, dusty, fraud, fake. I smack the shit out of y'all. I see y'all. Get your mind right, man. Get your mind right. Stop this fraud, shit, my nigga. Stop buying views. Stop doing all this nut y'all do. Y'all gotta start taking care of y'all kids, man. Stop getting on these social listen, networks. And I'm tired. Listen, and and hold, 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 let me say one thing. I'm tired of seeing y'all. I you know mean, and y'all scripted. You know I mean, this, this this definitely for y'all. You know what I'm saying, y'all be on there. You know what I mean, on the pole on one picture, two pictures from that. You know what I mean, you holding your fucking baby. What the fuck is your fucking mind? What, what, I, I mean, I mean, what, what are you doing? What are you doing for real, for real? You know what I mean, you got a bowl of oolin noodles on the. On a picture, then a bowl of cereal, then waffles, then you out. Then you on the pole. Just get your mind right. You know what I mean? Y'all need to get it together out there. You know what I'm saying? So we just checked out real etiquette, and luck has be spitting so much real on it, I don't even know where to start. So I'm just, I, I have to, it's only right to talk about these. I have to address these Gucci belts and these designer items when you still on the bus or you living at home. Yes, I know, if y'all don't know that, Philly produces some of the baddest bitches and they all live in the middle room. So don't you ever forget that. Please do your research, because there's really levels to this. And know how to lie. And Instagram, these social networks, it will get you caught up, because they can have you look, looking like you're living one life and you totally live in another way. Yo, it's your boy, Comedian Pretty Smiles. You already know, walking the Philly fame TV show, you understand? I got my boy right here. I don't even gotta say your name, you know who you are, right? This is Stacey's. It's Stacey's. <laughs> <laughs> got my man up in the building. Tell him your name. I don't even gotta say your name, they know who you are, man. When he's in Philly, we back at it. Yeah, they back at it. You already know, man. We holding Philly down. We got the talent right now, right here. We about to ask these guys some questions that everybody wanna know. My first question I wanna ask Ace, hey, where you get this sexy, like, where that came from? Because it's sexy, right? Like, because you know the stuff I do is sexy. Mm -hmm. You know, because you know I look good. And goddamn, my chest is look good too. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, my voice is sexy, you know, my team's sexy, you know, we all sexy. They are just so sexy. We just so sexy motherfuckers. Basically, but, yeah. I'm saying, but you know what else? A lot of everybody want to know the deal. Like, we know Meek Mills. Reposted you on Instagram for your birthday, right? How old you turn? 21. <laughs> <laughs>
guys, that is it for Fly Talk today. I know you're so sad to see me go because you just want me to leave all over the entire segment, but unfortunately, that's not the way things are set up yet. So next time, check us out and enjoy the rest of the show. Really saying we out. Half of these young boys around here, they reckless. Man, they ain't got no regards for life. So ain't nothing you won't say gonna change that, bump. If the youngest listen to the old ears, they gonna wanna do some great things. Half of them young boys like that, they gonna end up dead or in jail. You should know that. Dudes like that don't make it around here. You hear me? You gonna learn the hard way, man. Chill, man, it's cool. I do trust you. I don't trust Kareem. Won't you be a man and stand up for what you did? You gotta lead. You gotta speak up. All you have in this world is your word. And staying true to your word is what makes you a man. And if you make it to my age, then you'll understand. Music entertainment, so big ups to all of our boxing fans. Definitely gotta say congratulations going out to Danny Swift Garcia. Um, BY Jennings. Yep. Also Dynamite KO. Congrats. Definitely congrats. And we got some footage. Check it out. Showing his grip. And Hart gets rocked with that left hook. Shock him down. And it's over. Statement made by Danny Garcia. Knockout. And he is still undefeated. Richardson to his fighter Paul Dargan. Dargan listing. Dargan's hurting Flores, and Dargan's knocked it down. Dargan is full on to know if Carl Dargan can finish the fight. Yes, he, he can. just did. Brian Jenny. TV. So, of course, we covered some really great events, right? Definitely. The Daniel Ruff tournament, it was crazy off the hook. Shout out to everybody who came through. Yeah, good time. Shout out to director Mike Morak. Mm -hmm. Check it out.
Fat TV, you already know. Fat TV 7 on the way. Yo, 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 it's your boy Young Bob from Philly Fame TV. You already know, Philly Fame is you already know, man. So, what up? Shout out to Philly Fame TV. Trump team, 2014, scheme team. Great winning championship, nothing left. Two boxes of Dutchies. This from Drake, then that gets stolen from Lauren Hill. Dougie on the beat, something Dougie on my feet. I'm fresh, nevertheless, I'm fucking up the streets. All these bottles in my section, I ain't even drinking. Hey, it shoot you in front of the cops, he ain't even thinking. He ain't even blinking. Quilly been wavy too long, he ain't even sinking. Nelson Mandela in that cell, I ain't even sinking. They box me in like Chris Brown, I come out swinging. What you do, Quilly? Solange on the elevator, I 
I come out kicking. They try to take my voice away, I come out spitting. When I say it's freestyle, it's really not written. But when I really write it down, to consider quitting. You sweet pepper, this my jalapeno flow. You fall back, I'm dropping hip hop weekly, Benzino flow. I can kill your favorite rapper, this my conceited flow. Shaka Johnson, Michael Jackson, and them chords beat it though. I give them pain and shit that you gotta feel, cousin They put a beeper on my ankle, but I'm still buzzing oh, Hottest oh. rapper in my city, what if Quill wasn't? Probably be best dressed trapper, these nips just still fucking Now just make them look, make them cook You be on your hype shit, Ike shit, make them shook Wife beater, tink top, and zavka Million dollars in promotion, might flop ass I used to get that slow money, now the block fast and Fast money, fast cars, even my watch fast again. Shout out to 50, he was real when I met him I just might merge with G-Unit if the check heavy Check heavy. I get wavy, I don't get ready You make a mad, she gon' fuck me if, if petty Eating reds behind me, it's like I'm driving Strowman trucks Cause that bread behind me that money, I've been getting plenty, man But not enough, cause all my niggas just be saying I'm stingy, man I was in County Blues like Gucci, man Left the jail, put my cape on And turned to Fendi, man So fly, might not never land Never, never land, it's, it's goofy, no mouse It's Disneyland My sneak's a dollar, I don't wear pennies, man Balenciaga's white ones Or Timberlands, Harvard mentality High school dropout, this my 93 flow and big was sleeping on pot couch I don't wanna be no goon, nigga. I don't wanna be, I don't wanna be dead. I don't wanna be in jail. I want a hundred fucking million. Just wake up and move your mom tomorrow. That's a real man. It's, it's easy to no pull crib. the trigger though. It's easy to pull the trigger, but it ain't easy to move your mom out the hood. That's a real man. Hello everyone. This is Ronnie Press and welcome to this segment of Urban Affairs. Philly's fan very own Keith Robinson went to North Philly to talk to Terry Starks about the positive things he got going on in the community and it reached national headlines. Make sure you check it out. Check it out. Hey, it's your host Keith Robinson. I'm here with Terry Starks and uh, to discuss uh, a lot of issues within the Philadelphia community and uh, I want him to share some information to you guys. How y'all doing? My name is Terry Starks. I fight gun violence in the city of Philadelphia. I'm a business owner in the city of Philadelphia. We got global attention for this gun fight in the city of Philadelphia. So basically, we out here, you know, raising awareness of the gun violence that's happening in the city of Philadelphia. When we talk about politics, y'all got to understand in Philly, we do too much partying. It's like, that's all we care about is the, is the love of the party. But what happens when you don't return back to your home? When your babies is there asking for where my daddy is or where my mommy is and they land up in the morgue. You understand what I'm saying? And now we gotta come out as a crisis response team and make noise about you because shootings and violence, we're not telling you not to get no money. We'll ne you will never hear nobody in this camp tell you not to make no money. We concerned about the shooting and the killing, the senselessness of what's going on in our city. But like, people need to raise more awareness on what's really going on. And that's what attracted the Oprah Winfrey Network, bro. 36-year-old Terry knows what it takes to survive on these streets. He was once a major player in the local drug trade. I got shot five times in the chest. You know, I really fight this stuff passionately. I heard you say something yesterday that stood out. You said something like, we messed up these streets, now we gotta fix it. Yeah, yeah, and that's what I believe. Growing up, we was wild. But now I'm here because I choose to do right. The people are being imprisoned in their houses because they're scared to come outside because there's violence all out their door, bloodshed everywhere. When Terry was a child, his father was a drug addict and his mother attempted suicide. To help feed his seven siblings, Terry worked for a local dealer selling crack. From seven, I started out on the corners as a lookout. And when I got of a certain age, I graduated into selling on the corner. And by the age of 13, I had my own apartment, and I was still taking care of my mother, feeding my family. I probably was making five to $10,000 a day. It's just like a person getting a degree in sociology or criminology. Basically, we got a degree in the streets. But at age 25, Terry's street hustle came to a violent end when a partner in crime shot him five times at close range. 
How'd you get shot so many times? It was a guy who I trusted, you know. He come to my house, I go to his house. He shot me in front of his wife and his children, you know, for the money. All thing I remember was going into the hospital and everybody screaming. And then I woke up 19 days later. You got your man Nick Cannon repping Philly fame, fashion, arts, music, and entertainment. Let's get it. In terms of um, key lessons, if there was one key lesson that you believe has impacted your life in a phenomenal way, what would that lesson be? Uh, never accept no. That's I just uh, I think I've learned that on many different stages. Uh, perseverance, you know, never giving up. Because, I mean, it's pe it, there's people whose full time job is to tell you no and to bring you down and to let you know. And you just got to figure out how to work around that. And if it's something that's truly your passion, something that you believe is really yours and belongs to you, in a sense, you can't let anybody st stand in your way. Hurdles were made to jump over. You know, uh, obstacles are put in your path so you can dodge them and get around them. Um, and it only makes you better, it makes you stronger. If you're one of those people that have the easy path, uh, you know, the victory's not going to be as triumphant. But if you had to, you know, jump over a few things, dodge a few things, one that makes you more agile, that makes you someone uh, that can uh, think fast on their feet. So I use, you know, a lot of those uh, analogies just to say, um, you know, you're a strong person. And when you're put in an environment that can break most and it doesn't break you, that means you're the strongest of the strong. So you gotta take that potential and allow that to keep going. I mean, I'm a product of the inner city and public housing and projects and all of that. Uh, and it's one of those things where you never forget where you come from, no matter how successful you, you get to in, in you know society's uh, perspective or perception of what success is um, you always know what you had to go through to get there and I feel like that's what keeps me grounded that was that's what keeps me connected to the community is knowing that hey I'm the same way I just was one of those people who kept my eye on the prize Y'all, Philly Fame, Fashion, Art, Music, and Entertainment. Another great show for you coming up next week. We want to definitely thank Mosaic Lounge for having us. Appreciate we are your hosts, Mia Mendez. Hey, Kyle, love you. Yeah, absolutely. So next week, more interviews, videos. We're talking fashion, sports. Follow us, Instagram, Twitter, at Philly Fame TV. Mm -hmm. And I'm at Mia underscore Mendez. I'm at Kyle at the club. Follow me, follow her. Yeah. Follow Philly Fame. Yeah. You might follow back. You might not. We or, got you. Or no. Or no. Or no. <laughs> Leave me alone. All right, yeah, follow us, and we'll see you next week. We love y'all. Bye. Philly, 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 North side, South side, West side, Southwest, Uptown. This is Philly fame. We them people that'll get your game. Main ones say they real, they be really lame. They ain't living out the image that they really claim. Trying to give them something different like the yin and yang. Philly fame. We them people that'll get your game. Main ones say they real.